In Edwardsville, Illinois, the community came together last night to remember the six Amazon workers killed in the tornado outbreak. A tree will be planted in their honor with a plaque next to it showcasing their names. Clay Cope died helping his co-workers get to safety. His mother sat down with News Nation's Amelia Magavaro, saying she could have lost more than just her son that day. Just hurt and pain. It's hard to breathe. Carla Cope says she and her son Clay were very close. They cooked together, rode motorcycles, and texted each other all the time. He texted me every day to tell me that he loved me. Ever since he went into the military. Because I made him. <laughs> so, I won't get that anymore. Clay served six years in the Navy and worked as a maintenance worker at Amazon. Cope says the night the tornado hit, Clay went back to help people get to shelter, putting other safety above his own. We talked to him right before it hit. And he'd do anything for anybody. He'd go out of his way to help people. So it doesn't surprise me that he went back to tell people. Clay, as well as five other workers, were killed in the storm. The worst night of my life, for sure. Craig Yost is an Amazon delivery driver and was care flighted to SLU Hospital after a concrete wall fell on top of him. I feel terrible for, for the families of those people, for first and foremost, because I was almost one of them. Cope says her husband also works at Amazon and could have easily lost two members of her family that night. Unfortunately, on this particular night, it was my son. If it had been last weekend, it would have been my husband. And if it would have been a Wednesday, I could have potentially lost them both. Cope says there are presents under the tree for Clay for Christmas and his birthday later this month. But even though her son is no longer with her physically, Cope can still feel his presence. Heartbreaking and comforting, both. He doesn't say anything, but I feel him there. He's held my hand several times. Thanks for watching. Click the red subscribe button below so you can get more of News Nation's fact driven, unbiased coverage.